Hey everyone, this is Jordan from SleekLens.com. In this video, I'm going to show you how to quickly create rain in your photos, but I'm also going to give you a free Photoshop action to do all of these steps in case you just don't want to do it yourself. You can definitely download this free Photoshop action and apply it to your photos. So uh, the first thing we need to do to, cre to create rain is to actually make a blank layer. So I have this photo right here and I want to add a little bit of rain to it. So I'm going to create a blank layer here. Now I'm going to go up to Edit, Fill, and I'm going to fill it with black. So now I just have a black canvas here. So now I'm gonna go up to filter, noise, add noise. Now you can play with the amount of noise that you want, but just make sure that it's set to Gaussian and monochromatic. Uh, I like to keep mine around 45 or so, so I'm gonna keep it right there and I'm gonna click okay. And now what I wanna do is add a levels adjustment to here. So I'm gonna go ahead and down to the, here to the adjustments here and I'm gonna click levels and I'm gonna play with the black and white slider. So the black is gonna add more black to this uh, noise layer that we have and the white is gonna add more white. And so what you wanna do is try to find a white balance of just enough black and just enough white to really uh, kind of space it out, make it look a little bit more spaced out. So uh, roughly around here, it's gonna give you different amounts, uh, different effects depending on what the amounts you give. So I'm just gonna keep it there, we're good there. So now I'm just gonna highlight both of these and just to consolidate all this, click Command or Control E and that's gonna combine it all in one, to one layer there. And now I'm gonna go back up to Filter and I'm gonna go to Blur, Motion Blur, and here you can kind of create the angle of your rain. So if you want it going straight down, you could do it that way. I like to do mine at a little bit of an angle, and I'm uh, I can play with the the amount here. I can go uh, really crazy, really streaky, or I can go back down here to where it's a little bit more defined. Uh, I'm going to keep mine around, uh, let's say 50, and just click OK. And now one more filter. I'm going to create a blur filter, another blur filter. And it's just going to be a Gaussian blur filter, just to make the rain a little bit less defined, like it's kind of moving around. Uh, so I'm going to keep my radius pretty low to around one, uh, one pixel, and now I'm going to click OK. And now here's where the magic happens. If you want to uh, blend this in with your underlying layer, you can click the uh, blending mode and choose screen for the blending mode. And now when you do that, when you zoom in here, you can see that we have rain right there. So uh, if you want to create more rain, if you want to add a little bit more rain, you don't have to go through all those steps. You can just duplicate that layer and now you got a little bit more heavy rain. Now if you wanted to, to kind of space this out a little bit more, you can actually take this layer and stretch this layer out scale it up, move it around to roughly around there. Uh, we can do the same thing to the underlying layer. We can even change the direction of it just by rotating it, just like that. And uh, if you want to kind of back it down a little bit more, take the opacity down just like that. Looks pretty cool, easy rain effect, and it's as simple as that. So we also have this other photo right here, and it's a more of a landscape photo. If we wanted to add more rain here, like I said, I give you the uh, free preset that you can install into Lightroom. So I'm gonna go over to my presets here. It's called Sleek Lens Light Rain. I'm just gonna click on that Photoshop action there and click the play button, and you can see that it adds a little bit of rain there. Uh, obviously, it's a lighter co color photo, so the rain doesn't show up as much right when you apply it, but like we did in the other one, you can duplicate the layer and just create, keep creating more and more rain. Just keep duplicating to get heavier rain. Uh, rotate the canvas. Uh, you can change the direction of everything. And there you go. So we just added quickly and easily, we added rain to our photos. So if you want to download the free Photoshop action, link in the description down below uh, that take you to sleeklens.com where you can download the action, install it into your Lightroom, and just have fun applying rain to your photos. So thank you guys for joining me in this video. This has been Jordan from Sleek Lens, and I'll see you in the next one.